Namaskar everyone, welcome to Apachakon Asia. I'm Swaptil Ammane and in this session we will talk about how you can grow and manage your open source project with a proven way, the Apache way. So let's get started. A little bit about myself, I'm the Vice President of Apache Community Development and also the ASF member and the member of Central Services Editorial Team. Apart from that, I'm the founder and content manager at Open Source Babe, an initiative to spread the open source awareness. And I am uh, working with Webini as a developer relations engineer. And I'm the founder and chair of Apache Local Community as well. Apart from that, I'm the PMC member uh, of the various Apache project. So let's start with Apache Software Foundation. So Apache Software Foundation is world's largest open source foundation. It is established in 1991 and it's a non-profit organization. So uh, the, it is funded by the individual donors and, and our uh, generous corporate sponsors. Best thing about the Apache is its whole volunteer organization. So currently uh, it is having more than 350 plus open source project, including the Apache HTTP server. If we talk about the history, so it started with the uh, HTTP web server project, which is often called as Apache. And uh, from there, uh, dozens of uh, software engineers uh, sharing the code with each other via the patches and over the email uh, uh, in around February of 1995. So the uh, incorporation of ASAP is officially done in the June of 1999. So, uh, so this is how it started with uh, one uh, HTTP server project and, and you can see how big is our organization now. So all credit goes to our volunteers. Currently we have more than 350 plus open source initiative and the projects. Uh, some of the popular are HTTP server, the Kafka, Maven, CloudStack, CowlTB, and, uh, and, and various categories we have various sort of projects. So if you'd like to visit a uh, uh, which are the projects which are the part of Apache Umbrella, you can visit projects.apache.org. And there's an option to filter the project by the uh, category and by the language. So you can filter what type of category project you would like to see. And you can also filter it by the uh, language of your choice. So here comes our uh, today's topic, which is the Apache way and how you can incorporate it in your open source project to make it grow and uh, and to make it successful. So uh, there are five fundamental pillars of Apache way. One is the community, then the merit, then communication, and the open development and the decision making. Let's start with what is community. So in Apache, we are uh, a global community. We are uh, spread across the globe. We don't live together. Uh, we are not necessarily most of us work together in an organization and yeah since the foundation is really big so most of the uh, it may be case this uh, uh, most of the people don't know each other but yeah so what makes us as a community so we are the uh, in our community we have the uh, developers who write the codes and various writers the testers the sysadmin team the devops and more importantly and definitely one of the important uh, part of our community is our users. So this is our uh, Apache community and pretty much more or less, it is uh, uh, also the part of any open source project. So what I, may, uh, what I will be uh, uh, doing in this session is I will be show you that what currently we have in Apache and what we follow and it will have a complete one-to-one -one mapping with your open source projects because uh, managing and growing open source projects is uh, uh, one of the key Thing we do at Apache. So uh, in, in uh, Apache Software Foundation, we treat people as individual. We don't uh, uh, affiliate them with their corporations. So uh, we don't have any corporate participation. So if somebody is participating, they are treated as an individual. So somebody submit a patch, uh, it is submitted uh, uh, by an individual. We consider it like that. So uh, the, the benefit of this is, uh, every individual get the reco uh, re recognition. So in case somebody uh, uh, change their organization, their merit with the Apache community is uh, doesn't affect that. So, uh, so basically uh, uh, we have this uh, concept of wearing your hat. 
So for example, if uh, one could be uh, the uh, maybe the manager at certain company and one and the same person could be the committer of a project. So whenever uh, somebody have a discussion on the mailing list, they put uh, in the signature, they, hey, now I'm talking on the behalf of my company or I'm representing my company or I'm uh, wearing my committer hat or uh, whether am I uh, wearing my uh, PMC member hat. So uh, uh, since the you have can have multiple roles at the Apache. So at the time of communication, you can wear your own head. And the important thing to your note is we treat people as individual, not uh, uh, not as a, a corporate participation. So this is a good thing which you can also consider in your open source projects to treat people individually, irrespective of the organization they belong. Meritocracy, uh, another important aspect. So uh, meritocracy is about recognizing the work from an, 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 an contributor. So basically, uh, for example, uh, it, 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 so we have a clear cut path defined for, for, uh, for every person or the users or the uh, contributors to the Apache. Let's, let's let's understand in this way. So we have defined a, a, a growth path for our uh, uh, contributors. So the more you contribute, the more power to it. Something like this. Like uh, initially, when somebody start uh, to the project, they start using the project. It's really the first entry point where somebody uh, found the uh, any Apache project and they start using it. So they are in the user category. And then uh, then it's very quite often that the users of the pro uh, project also contribute back. Uh, contribution could be like anything. It could be a bu bug fix or maybe a bug report, maybe an, a code contribution, maybe a documentation contribution, or uh, maybe a, a suggestion, or maybe helping each other in the mailing list. So there is a lot of uh, type of contributions. The important here is uh, when after user, the another step which comes as is the contributor. And then, uh, when somebody often contribute to the community, uh, the respective project committee may invite them to become the committer. So depending on the what type of contribution is, how they are behaving in the community, uh, the next step is the committer step, where the uh, uh, where they get the right to change in the source code of the uh, the main source code of the project. And then uh, there is a PMC uh, who are the project management committee of that project. So basically, project management committee take care of uh, all the decision for that project. They decide the direction of the project. So somebody from the committers become the part of PMC members uh, as they contribute more and more. And then we have the ASAP members who are the uh, uh, like like in, in uh, profit organ uh, for, for for profit organization we have stakeholder similarly in non for profit organization we have this uh, uh, member sort of thing so currently we have more than 800 asf members and then we have our board of directors and uh, and other uh, officers and the vps so uh, so what here essentially what i'd like to highlight is you should define a, a growth path for for your contributors or the member of your community because they will have the idea how they will proceed with the project this will really help to uh, uh, to maintain the contribution or to maintain that person in the community so uh, this is one thing which which uh, uh, we can take away from the uh, the growth or the merit path followed in the apache software foundation for for contributor journey uh, for the communication, uh, yeah, obviously it's very important to uh, set the tone of the communication because uh, you often see since the uh, uh, it's an uh, for any open source projects, uh, it might possible that some some communication is not constructive or uh, maybe some person is not uh, having that communication in the constructive way. So as as a maintenance of that open source project is. Uh, uh, your responsibility to uh, jump into the communication and try to set the uh, it in a constructive way. Obviously, it's not possible uh, sometimes, but yeah, uh, it may be possible in most of the time. If you jump in, uh, there might be a chance that the communication will go in the good direction. So the uh, a thumb rule you can make for the uh, uh, maybe people want as a code of conduct is to have the collaborative and the constructive communication, and. Uh, this is a, a one thing which is really important because everything uh, is is uh, depends on the communication how the community communicate 
with each other is the deciding factor for the success of the project. Uh, so we have at Avase has a, a ASAP code of conduct which uh, define how we behave and how, what's the code of conduct we follow uh, while all our in all of our communications. So it is available if you, if you like you can inspire your code of uh, get inspiration for your code of conduct from this and there are various code of conducts available uh, in the market as well which are uh, in the open source nature so either you can inspire it for or get it from here or if you'd like to follow any other code of conduct, you can use that as well. The important here is to follow some some code of conduct, uh, which gives the guidelines to your uh, community members that uh, what what is correct and what should be followed uh, uh, inside the uh, your project uh, or how 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 you go, how you communicate inside your project. Uh, we at Apache use uh, most of the time the English language because uh, we are the global community and depending on your geography and what is your vision for the open source projects, it, uh, you can you can take the decision. Uh, and yeah, obviously means it's it's good to have the uh, uh, primary language as English. But if you are uh, uh, having a community of a particular region where the commu English is, uh, communication will not with that that effect you maybe you can choose another language but my recommendation is to have at least uh, uh, english an option because uh, uh, i'm sure and everybody who is uh, developing their open source projects uh, that your project could have the potential to reach the global market and that's why the uh, open source it is because you never know uh, from which geography your your open source project will be used so uh, most of the projects are in english but yeah if your primary audience is uh, belongs to a certain region where the english is not uh, uh, maybe appropriate from there or they they are not familiar at that much you can uh, you can use that language as well but yeah to key, uh, keep english in the option as well now let's talk about the uh, communication and the mailing list and the user uh, usage so basically uh, in Apache, we have various types of uh, mailing lists, but these are some ma major mailing lists. Uh, we, we everything, uh, uh, our every communication is done in the, on the mailing list. So basically, one is the users list where users can post their queries, question if they have anything related to uh, a project they would like to know, they post their query there. And on that list, uh, various uh, uh, other members uh, or the people from the project answer their queries and questions. Then we have a dev list, we often call it uh, the development list, we often call it as a dev list, where the project maintainers have the communication or if it's something related to, uh, uh, which affects the development of their project. Uh, for example, uh, maybe uh, you can talk about a feature or maybe uh, uh, if you are planning to have new release, you can just uh, give update, hey, we are planning to uh, uh have a new release and uh, these are things which we are planning if somebody have some more inputs or anything to share please do let's share or anything related to development is go to the dev list then we have a commit list where all the uh, notification of all the changes which is done in the source code is go to this uh, commit list uh, so for example if somebody want to uh, make them aware to each and every step changes uh, are done in the uh, in the uh, source code so they can subscribe to this mailing list and then we have a private mailing list where we talk about the uh, it's a private list means uh, not everybody can subscribe to this so only the project management committee uh, are the subscriber of this private list and the other asf members if they would like they can subscribe to the pro this list so these are the four type of communication types uh, which we uh, in terms of mailing list we have and there are others as well but these are some major uh, mailing uh, type of mailing list so similarly, for your project, define the place where the types of communication will happen. For example, where the users can ask for help, where users can uh, talk about the contributions if they want to make any contribution. Uh, if, if they have some feedback for you, where they can share it. Uh, and if, if uh, uh, somebody would like to discuss about the privacy or something related to security, uh, maybe vulnerability in your project there where they can discuss it so you should uh, define this clearly in your uh, uh, project uh, and share it with the community hey this is the place where you can ask this type of question and uh, this is really very really important because uh, whenever somebody new joins the uh, open source project they really don't have the idea 
what type and uh, what type of communication is happening and where I should go. So at the starting of when somebody joined your Slack channel or somebody joined your mailing list, you can leave a clear guideline or at least your uh, project homepage or somebody in your project website, you can have these details that really help a newcomer or the existing members to uh, know how they can communicate in your project to get the uh, help and uh, have the respective communication in the respective channel. Mm, now, next, uh, after the community, the next important part is the open development. So basically, uh, uh, Apache is a global community. So we have the concept of open development where one, one part is a side shifting. So most of our communication is uh, uh, asynchronous. Uh, so what does this mean is uh, we, our developers and the community is in a different time zone. So it's not possible to have the synchronous communication with all of them and it's such a huge community. So everything with which we do is goes to the uh, mailing list. So basically, uh, uh, and uh, since we have this, uh, 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 different uh, community in nature means uh, somebody is uh, uh, there to contribute. Somebody is the users who just just are the users of the community. Everybody is having different uh, different uh, ability and the expertise area. So we have this uh, asynchronous communication via mail. You can uh, depending on the nature of your project means for example if if you would like to give much more better customer or maybe maybe the uh, developer experience uh, to your project members or the uh, project users if you have the uh, people from the different community you can use also the synchronized communication like a slack or something like this but yeah mailing list really worked for us because in this way uh, people just post their questions and the queries on the mailing list and as, uh, as uh, somebody got some time or uh, voluntary they help each other uh, the uh, one saying we have in the uh, Apache is to be, if it didn't happen on the mailing list, it didn't happen. So every every communication which does in the Apache Software Foundation is archived, so that is it can be referred in the uh, future. This is the important point to note here for you. So uh, what is what the thing is whenever somebody a newcomer asks a question, the probability is very high that every newcomer asks same type of questions when there is a degree of difference but after some time you will figure out that most of the people are asking similar type of questions so what you can do is if you archive your older communication it will be really easy for them to just go to the old place and refer their query and get answer from from there instead of you are replying every time same thing to the new user it will really affect the productivity so there are multiple ways you can do this well, for example you can uh, archive your mailing list if you are using uh, 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 some kind of channel and it has the archive ability, you can do that. If you are using GitHub, there's a good option to use GitHub discussions or you can have your forum uh, if you want. So this all will have the frequently asked question list where the uh, uh, most of the uh, type of the questions which is asked, you can document it there. So when everybody uh, new uh, person asks the same question, you can just provide a simple link instead of giving the whole the, uh, 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 whole details to them, so it will affect the productivity of overall community. Important here to notice is to archive everything, or at least if you think something is really important and very frequently asked and used, be sure to archive that communication uh, so it can be used by a person, uh, anybody who uh, in future have the similar type of question or query. Uh, decision making. So in in uh, uh, in our community, we have the uh, consensus uh, for any if if something uh, need uh, if uh, if something need to be uh, uh, voted out, we have the concept of consensus, where uh, we have the uh, uh, kind of voting where uh, where people have the plus one, minus one, zero. Like if you are agree with this or you are supporting that uh, particular suggestion or maybe something. Uh, uh, which is proposed you can say plus one if somebody is not uh, uh, somebody is not happy with that or may have some other uh, suggestion for or the improvements they can suggest minus one and give the reason that why why i'm not uh, in the favor of this uh, with minus one is really important to give the reason why you are saying minus one and if somebody is fine with either way they can have the plus uh, uh, they can have the zero similarly what 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 is learning from here is for your open source project you can also have the similar kind of thing means to engage and involve your community in the decision making what happens is uh, if you are uh, taking care of 
own this. Uh, you are just a single person who is, uh, or few hand of people who are taking every decision and not involving your community to the decision. Uh, 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 sometimes it might that your community feel disconnected. So it's a great way to uh, uh, increase the engagement your, with your community. So if there is something which you think can, you can take the opinion of community, or maybe their uh, 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 involvement can be uh, taken in, in particular decision, go go ahead and do that because it will increase your uh, 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 the engagement in the community, and in turn your community will grow and have trust on the uh, on the uh, on the uh growth on the how the project is growing so that's just really important so engage your community and yeah and for our decision making it's a minimum every vote to last for 72 hours because we have the people from across the globe so in 72 hours almost all the time zone is covered uh depending on your community uh, and and it's up to you how would like to uh uh, have this uh, time important here is to engage your community in a certain way if you are taking some decision it's really good to take the opinion from the community so they feel connected and engaged cool here comes the uh, uh some extra topic uh the previous topics which i have covered was uh the specific in terms of uh, uh was very closely related with the apache which we followed at the apache and uh, based on my uh, uh, many years of open source experience uh, i have also figured out some other uh, items which is uh, uh, which could be really helpful for growing your open source project so uh, so uh, the first one is the community uh, the project success will be uh, in the uh, helping community uh, not only the team so basically what happened is uh, in, in most of the open source projects the core members who are who are the founders of open source project only they are answers to the query of a community. If somebody asks a question, only the core people answers that. But the real success will be when your community start engaging or having interaction with each other. If somebody asks the question and somebody from, uh, from the community answer that question, that will be the real success. So you should be uh, targeting towards sort, uh, that thing and, and, and uh, find the ways uh, in which you can uh, give the space to your community basically to interact with each other maybe the platform where they can interact with each other and help help each other good documentation and the resources are really very important for the success of open source project uh, how you can install the application how uh, the main what are the main features of this application and how uh, somebody can build a custom application on top of your open source project these are very common uh, questions which are uh, uh, which are the which should be there if you are uh, uh, documenting your project so good docs is definitely a key to success and apart from that there, there are various resources like uh, you have the uh, twitter Facebook, LinkedIn, depending on your uh, uh, community, definitely you can choose the way uh, which you'd like to interact with the community. So you can communicate on this different channel and create a lot of resources, uh, especially uh, if you talk about nowadays, uh, people are also uh, leaning towards the videos as well. So maybe short videos, if you'd like, you can create those as well, along with a good documentation and, and definitely a, a website, which is having a, a good detail about what project is and how, how uh, which problem it is solving then the project setup should be very easy uh, what the problem with the uh, some of the open source project is their their setup is really difficult it means you have to follow the 10 step and you have to do this this and that to just set up the project see if you do, uh, if your setup is complex uh, and uh, so there is a very uh, high chances that you will get the less contribution from the community because uh, uh, yeah, uh, if some newcomer joins your community and they found the difficulty in setting up the project so obviously it will be difficult for them to contribute back right so uh spend some time and figure out how you can set up your project uh, uh and and make it uh, uh make it in a such a way that the project setup is easy so everybody any anybody new can contribute back and apart from that uh, the uh, have a link of good first issues in in github you have an option called good uh, good first issue so make a list of the those issue and make it available to the uh, community there's a tag used like good first issue in the uh, in the github also uh, so if if you use that tag uh, if somebody go to your project and uh, go to the contribute section uh, 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 like uh, uh, like github.com forward slash maybe your project uh, name and then forward slash contribute in that uh, uh, url 
uh, all the good first issues are listed. So it's really good thing to have the good first issues. So uh, that really help uh, a new member if they would like to contribute, they will figure out which things which I can contribute. Another thing is to develop the partner network. Uh, uh, now things it's very uh, very common that most of the open source projects are building their partner network. Uh, particularly in if if you are in the uh, uh, in uh, cost type of product where uh, uh, you have uh, your uh, commercial open source software. So in that particular terms, the partner network really help where the partners uh, uh, can help you to. Uh, uh engage your community or maybe uh drive the traction to your open source project so it's mainly uh for the cause community uh it's really the partner network is really helpful and the last one i would like to emphasis on is the feedback feedback from the community is really really important uh so there is various way you can conduct the survey or maybe somebody from the project management team can uh individually uh pick up some people and get their feedback so it's purely depend on you but the feedback is very important. One of the easy way to have this survey. Uh, be very careful while designing survey. If you ask various question, a lot of question, it chances are uh, people will not fill the survey. Uh, design it in, uh, in such a way, such a way that uh, maybe a simple option uh, yeah, will be enough, or maybe have at least not more than one or two text fields, so that if, if even they would like to write something, they would like. Because if you ask ten question and where uh, every question uh, to is of text type where they they have to write something, the chances is low that you will get uh, uh, more response. Uh, the chances are really low that you get the response on the survey. So uh, design your survey smartly in, in in and have the options field. But the feedback is really important. In any way you can uh, go for the feedback. Uh, so the friends of the credit, the uh, the Apache way, uh, the uh, thanks to the Shane Kukur for uh, the various content he created around the Apache way, and uh, uh, so, uh, and uh, we uh, the some references are from uh, uh, the existing slide at the uh, at this URL. Uh, thank you, Shane. And uh, so yeah, if you have any question, uh, irrespective of uh, um, it's not only specific to the this uh, presentation. In general, if you have any question related to your open source project, and if you like any input uh, related to open source, uh, I'm available on the Twitter and uh, very active there. It's a uh, Swapnil M money. You can uh, uh, DM me, and we can uh, sync up there. And I share a lot of things related to open source uh, 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 there, so you can you can uh, we can sync up there. And uh, yeah, obviously, means uh, uh, after this presentation is, I am available to uh, uh, ask, uh, answer your questions. So please feel free to ask the questions. And apart from that, I am having my own YouTube channel, Open Source Tape. Uh, please do visit this channel. It has uh, various uh, uh, videos on uh, related to open source projects, and uh, and I am also planning uh, various uh, uh, various uh, uh, videos are in plan that really help your open source project. So please. Uh, 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 uh please do visit uh, this uh, youtube channel so thank you so much everyone for joining and uh, yeah and if you have any question uh, please do let me know i uh, will be really happy to answer thank you